Linux Mint team has been working very hard on its fork of GNOME 3. I'm speaking about the Cinnamon Desktop. Version 1.8 has just released, and we're going to look at it right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Here we are on my desktop. Um, I'm no longer running Linux Mint XFCE Edition. I decided to try out the Cinnamon version because I was kind of getting tired of the way everything looked and I really wanted to have something a little bit more modern. Additionally, I switched over to the Cinnamon Edition mostly because when I did copy my old hard drive and bring it over to the new one, there were a few little niggles in the system. I figured maybe it's time to do a fresh install. So that's what I decided to do. And I actually changed a lot of the software. I'm no longer even, I'm not even using Firefox anymore. I decided to bite the bullet and give the open source Chromium browser a shot. We'll have a look at all that in a minute. And I am on cinnamon.linuxmint.com. If you want to get the latest version of 1.8, simply follow these instructions here on your screen. Now, if you're running Linux Mint like I am, you're not going to be able to download this that easily unless you do a little sleight of hand trickery. So let me go into a few little details that you'll have to wriggle through in order to get this working. First things first, Linux Mint users will need to click the link to the PPA for Ubuntu. And you will need to add this to your sources. The command will be in the show notes. All right, and then what you will need to do is open up your Synaptic Package Manager. And then what you can do is you will need to go into Sources. Then what you will need to do to get this installed in Linux Mint is you're going to need to uncheck Main Packages. You're going to have to uncheck all of these. And then when you reload, you will see that you can then install the latest uh, version of Linux Mint. And you can also get the, the uh, new Nemo packages, which replaces the Nautilus window or, or file manager, which is really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and put these back. All right, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and have a look and see what you get with Cinnamon. All right, first, let's have a look at the Nemo file manager. Now, Nemo has features that were taken out of Nautilus, and so the Linux Mint team decided to um, to fork this. I really like the way everything is laid out here. And also, it's really cool because now I have the ability, you know, it sorts my folders the way I used to be able to do them when I was running Pengai OS, running the old Nautilus, which is really cool. You know, it has a lot of nice options. It also shows you how much free space you have on your hard drives here, which is really cool. And uh, I really like how they just laid it all out. You know, you can hide and show the side panel. You can um, choose uh, many different ways to view it. I think that's a wonderful touch. Very, very nice and um, very responsive. Uh, so all in all, very nice. Okay, and then uh, another nice feature is you have the ability to uh, pretty much uh, take care of everything uh, with your, uh, with your um, Cinnamon desktop from right here. Just go into settings here and select all settings and then a dialog will appear where you can uh, adjust everything. Now um, you're not seeing any text in here because of the theme that I'm running. I'm running the Atom GTK3 theme and so uh, the text is there. I know it is it's just that I have no way of being able to change the text to black so that I can read this. But I know what all these icons are because I've been running Linux Mint now for about a week and a half and I've had a chance to really play through all of these settings quite a bit. But the thing is you can adjust your display settings, all of your effects that you have, uh, which is kind of cool. You know, you can, um, you know, decide how to... Oh, we even have a fade effect on cinnamon scroll boxes, like the uh, menu app. Let's have a look at that and see what it does. I'm probably not going to see it immediately, but who knows. Now, pretty much I just left all these settings as standard because I like the uh, transitions that everything has already. Okay, you can also adjust most of your font information right here. You can adjust your themes. And... Uh, the cool thing about this now is you can actually get those applications online 
and uh, you can just simply just click on them and then uh, install or update uh, the ones that you select. This, I notice, is a little bit buggy, though. Um, sometimes uh, it generates an error, so for the time being, getting things the old-fashioned way is probably the best way. Alternatively, because I had to do a little bit of a hack to get this on my system, maybe there's a few little things that need to be worked out. But the thing is, in a few weeks, uh, this will be sent over to the backports, or when Linux Mint 15 is uh, released, I should say, this will be in backports, and then I'll be able to get the latest versions, and it will update just fine. But for what it's doing for me at this point, I'm okay with that. Okay, and then you can control all of your other settings, such as your window controls. I'm using the Atom GTK3 theme, easily found on gnomelook.org. I'm also using the Eclipse mouse pointer. If you guys like how that appears, you can also get that on Gnome Look as well. Okay, and then, of course, I downloaded an icon pack called Studio Icons. If you want to get those, guess where to go. Thank you. All right. And then uh, you can also have it show icons in menus if you want to and icons on buttons. I decided to leave that option turned off. Okay. And then, of course, all your other settings here as well. You can, uh, you know, uh, add uh, applets to your panel. I have all the applets added that I really want, and I don't see the need to uh, put on any more, but you can get more of them online. Uh, as I said, this part is where it gets a little bit tricky. It wants to update them. I had a crash on me at one point. So putting them in the old-fashioned way by just uh, extracting them into your local uh, cinnamon folder is the best way to go for the time being. Another nice feature of uh, Cinnamon is, uh, I've already discussed the panel and that sort of thing, you can even do some pretty cool things. Some of these applets that I have installed are really nice, uh, but these don't come standard that you can go and you can uh, get some of these uh, applets that will add extra functions to your, uh, to your uh, panel. For instance, I didn't really care for the Mint menu, and Cardapio happens to be one of my favorite menus, and you can see I have it here instead of the Mint menu. Well, how did I do that? Well, there is this uh, um, applet here. Let me uh, go ahead and give you the name of that applet. Okay, this one's called Window List with App Grouping. And then all you do is, uh, in this, when you have an application open, you can have that set up as your favorites. And so to the left, of this panel here, it'll put any icon or item that you have in your menu as your favorites. And so I just changed the icon of uh, Cardapio and put this in. And so I just have only one favorite showing where the um, where I have the cup here. Kind of cool. All right. And then also you have hot corners, which I think are really cool as well. Um, so you can uh, place your cursor. Well, it, it's probably not as effective unless I have a few windows open. So let me go ahead and uh, pick out a few items that we can have open here so that you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, pull up Audacity. And maybe I'll pick out another application here. Okay, why not select VirtualBox? We'll do that one too. All right, so I have a number of applications open. Now, I set a hotspot on the lower right of my screen to where it will now do like a, um, I guess this is what you would call an expo, where it, uh, you know, displays all the applications you have open on a particular desktop, and then you can just click the one that you want to get to that. I thought that was a really nice touch, and uh, that's something you used to be able to do in Compiz. Well, you can still do in Compiz, but unfortunately, Compiz isn't compatible with this. But another nice feature that I really like is the amount of desktops that you can have for this. For instance, um, here we go. I've got two workspaces right now. It's very easy to move applications from uh, desktop to desktop. And if you decide you don't need that extra desktop, no problem. You can close it. You can even name your workspaces to whatever you want. And then you can... Add more workspaces, as many of them as you feel is necessary. Rename all of them. That sort of thing. So far, I'm liking what Linux Mint has brought to the table with the new Cinnamon version 1.8. It looks very nice. There's a few little niggles that need to be worked out, but I'll tell you what. 
awesome desktop. I'm really glad that I decided to give Linux Mint Cinnamon version a try and then upgrade to this later version because I'm really liking what this brings to the table. Also, um, something else I forgot to mention is that you also get desklets that can uh, go on to that you can actually put on your desktop. I didn't really care for any of these, but they're here. So if I wanted to, I could, you know, put a digital photo frame here. And it will add one. And then, of course, you can even configure it if you want to. I uh, did everything in grayscale when I was playing with this, but um, you can, you know, the only problem is I could not figure out how to move this thing around. You know, right clicking on it, left clicking on it, middle clicking on it. I haven't been able to figure out how to move that around. So uh, maybe somebody will tell me how to do that one of these days. That's all I've got on this awesome desktop. Mm -hmm.